When I think about the future, um, I think of a time and place in which black bodies can be existed, in which they can enjoy the privileges and freedom that we all deserve. I remember when I first came here for my interview, it was it was different than my school. It was way bigger than my school. It looked it looked beautiful when I came here. People just opened up their arms to me when we came in and it felt like home. Um, my first day at Comer was actually at the high school and it was a surreal experience. Um, I remember being very intimidated. Uh, first day of high school at the age of 14, um, but also I was very hopeful. There have definitely been some success stories just going from uh, session to session, seeing um, kids in the tech program and they come back the next session and they remember uh, what was taught. Okay, now you built it, let's, let's figure out how to make it move, let's figure out how to make it do all of these actions. Comer has invested so much into me and the reason why I actually came back was because I believe in legacy. At Stanford, I was one of three black mechanical engineer graduates. And for me, that experience was so upsetting. I was very personally frustrated because I knew the potential, the gifts and talents so many of my peers had that I made it a personal mission of mine to be able to like open the doors for those coming after me because I know the vision that they have. When young people come to Comer, first they meet caring adults. Then they look around and they see this incredible space and they realize, wait a second, this is for you. And so now they have a benchmark that says, I know what excellence is. I deserve excellence. And everywhere I go, I can measure what I get based on what I got at Comer. My dream for this community is just holistically being more collaborative. If we have organizations doing boxing and double dutch and basketball and organizations giving scholarships to high school students, uh, just being able to come together and kind of just create a, a more wholesome environment. When I talk to my brothers about this place, I tell them that it's more than just a place, that it's the experience you get here. It's more than just the programs that are here. It's the people, the environment. For me, joy is a revolutionary act. When you have joy in the face of constantly being told what you have to do, what you must accomplish, where you are deficient and what you're making up for, just to be able to find a place where you can sit down with your friends and enjoy what you're doing and just be happy, is really unusual and it's revolutionary to have that space here.